is not coming in soon enough, so this is still looking pretty rough for them. They're gonna lose the Aegis. Maybe they can get the Monkey King out of the way. He is so low. Only 100 HP remaining, not enough. He Destroyer lives. is now in trouble. Yule's up in a second, won't get the tasted at all. Three heroes down, and now Shroud, he's just chasing for targets. Getting interrupted again. Orchid there from the Weaver. Adrian with the Vessel, and look at the CK melt. He's got nothing. He's got nothing left in the tank. He's out. Now Tabo trying to run away from Lava Esports. Good luck trying that. Another. And that's another team wipe. This was... Dude, it starts because Robo Z, he goes in and he gets control. He loses 80% of his health before he can BKB. At that point, his only focus is to run away. This is a, you know, it's a very much like an underwhelming BKB. It's like, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. And they just bring him down. And they kill the CK kind of last when they already brought everyone. It's such a good situation for uh, Lava. I, as much as I look at Universal, I'm like, you guys have the better draft, but the approaches to the fights has been all Lava. It's been looking so much yeah. better for them. Yeah, they, they were ready for that one. Robo Z was the one going in, but yes. he was the one falling into an ambush. And uh, now, guess Even what? The, you, know? you know, sometimes the mightiest armies, they fall to a bit of cunning. Yes, Sang Su said that in his book, I think. He, he did? Oh. I'm sure he says it. He said a lot of, he said a lot of interesting stuff, to be fair. Yeah, there are definitely some interesting history Dyer's quotes uh, regarding, you know, attack. military generals and tactics and uh, there's a lot of wise words out there. Even if uh, you didn't know what, what they actually meant, they have a lot of meaning out there. Oh, like, for example, like, like, the like one, for example, which you can't really apply into Dota in a way, like Dyer's in terms of scrims, but yeah. you must not fight too Radiant's often with one enemy or you yes. will teach him all your art of war. Ah, uh, well done. By the way, oh. the big courier just died. Uh, one of the there are a few that you can apply to Dota. One of them is um, if you are in, in a battle, try to forage from their lands as much as possible. That way, you know you get, you are getting food and they are prevented from getting food on their own land. And it's like, oh yeah, that means farm the enemy's neutral camps if you can. Yeah, what was it called? Living on the lay of the land. Yes. Uh, another one is uh, don't surround them from four sides. Surround them from three so they can run away. And that's one of the things where it's like. You see one guy TPing away the start of the fight, let him go, kill the others. Don't let him stay and then it's like, oh yeah. shit. I, I, know, I know how fanatic Kips can sometimes be about pincer moves. Yeah. You, you talk to her about like pincer moves and she's going to be like, oh, exciting military uh, tactics. Not yet. We haven't really got it to the military stuff, but we will <laughs> one day. One day, uh, one day. One day. <laughs> Uh, Alright, items. Dodd has got Basher and he's very clo getting close to that Abyssal Blade, so nice control Dodd coming up from him. Gleipnir on Hoodwink and Maelstrom on Weaver. So the damage, the Maelstrom was killed on the Korea, but the damage is really pumping from the Lava supports. Oh, 5-5-5 yeah. five, five, five. would be a nice kill. They can just get to the side. Phantasm Illusions all you're rolling in, so they're getting a lot of info with this. It does feel like Lava does not want to fight them head on. By the way, the support gap is is be really starting to show. The Weaver, I'm not like in terms of the impact on the game, like Weaver and Hoodwing are just doing so Adrian much. Adrian going in, he actually found the CM, kind of by accident. Yeah. That was not the one he was going for. He was going for the CK. But it was like, oh, there's a freebie, guys. You go for that one. I'll go for the back line. CK, Phantasm is ready again. Dot looking for that stun. Doesn't quite get the Phantom to strike off, but the chains are coming in. Manta's being popped. Oh, nice More Gleipnirs on top of Gleipnirs. Ah, getting pulled in, has to buff his BKB and his ult. He'll fight oh. the front line, he'll keep that back. Let's see what they can do here. They, they are bringing, able to bring 555 five, yeah. five Shroud. Shroud he just can't get enough okay. damage in. Like, there's, there's definitely a damage check issue now on the side of Universe Atario. They cannot fight the Wukongs. Actually, a very interesting play there with the Terrorize and the Reality Rift. They pull in Dad, they get themselves the kill on the Monkey King without a proper response, but still after that, Trout goes down. Robo Z, he's staring at this Ember Spirit, just teleporting in front of his own eyes. A nice kill on Dad at the end. Like that turns it from, oh, well, it's kind of a rough fight to do, you know, you lose a CM, a couple cores, you get a couple back, it's not so bad. Roshan's up in 45 seconds, so everyone should be ready for it, but... You're right. I really Damage like how is... they played that one, where they mm -hmm. threw the...
Yep, uh, watch from the game because I believe we are having issues there. But yeah, you're right. It's just going to be Roche. We, we mentioned it's going to be rainy side. They're spitting in. They're going straight up. They want to fight. Yes. And good glimmer. Keeps the CM alive. They want to turn. Now they want to turn back. There's no spin. Mm. Uh, monkey? It BK... He's... Oh, wow! Just By the way, that's BKB used! He's dead! Uh, okay! Adrian! Big win. Uh, punch. There you go. And he gets it. Holy moly. That was so disjointed from lava. I thought that after the spin. Uh, after the spin, that was it. The, they were like, the fight's over. We're not, we're not going to be engaging anymore. But no. The roll comes out. It finishes. And, you know, Universe is like, all right, let's go in. And Lava's like, well, we don't know what the hell we're going to do. <laughs> well, um... Hopefully you guys can hear me now because uh, I had a completely frozen DMX for a very, very long time. I guess Same. it was just me, apparently. Oh no, it was frozen for me as well. I All refreshed, right. it was black. But, so, uh, uh, it, but it is a pretty important turn of events here for Universitario because when I mentioned, mentioned that this game could still be open and 50-50, yep. I did not expect it to go that easily where they, they just lost the Ember Spirit so, so early on in the fight that Monkey King was left all by himself. He's like, guys, guys. Where are you? Yeah, and uh, a lot of it goes to Robo Z, right? Kanda, Nemesis Curse. We, we were saying, like, yes, there's damage issues, but these Nemesis Curse, they help. And he just jumped Radiant on them. Probably the easiest support to kill on the enemy Radiant's side, which is the no, is you know, the Ember Spirit without BKB. At least he wasn't using it in that fight. Uh, Hoodwink, by the way, has the has Crystalis going for Daedalus. Uh, this, they're not going to have any damage issues on Lava if they can dish it out, you know? But, as we mentioned before, survivability is has been their problem. And I think it's not really solved. So it really comes down to execution here. Yeah, it's going to decide a lot between these two teams. I see our Hoodwink is picking up damage items alongside with our yep. Monkey King. We're going to have double Daedaluses. There you go. Da Daedalese. Uh, Daedalises is, is better, I think. Because you know, like, when you have many octopus, you have octopi or octopi. That's, that's maybe, true. Maybe we but have Daedalese. Get, oh, oh, Dad's in trouble. Dad's in trouble. Oh, no. He's alive. Yeah, but the see? turn is there. Destroyer gets one shot pretty much there by the Pango. That's unfair. Both he's stuck inside the Wukong. The four staffs are helping him out, but still that oh, BKB is standing still. And probably uh, gets to run away, but that is 1700 HP they need to chew through. Adrian is relentless with this chase. And the dust connects, so they finally see where the tiny is. And maybe Robo Z finally gets caught. There's the toss, but it's just not enough. And he's still being chewed the by bugs. the bug, and they finally got him. Right in front of the tier 3 tower. CK is going to be all by himself. And Universitario, they are going to lose four heroes for this. With the creep wave pushing in, that could just mean a lane of racks too, or maybe some buybacks for that. Man, like if you catch them when they're not ready on Universitario, you just melt them. Everyone's dishing out so much damage. There's a Radiance on the Ember Spirit, along with the Mage Slayer and the Maelstrom. So just him staying alive is a lot of, like, a lot of pain you have to deal with. And for Universitario, they don't have a pipe. I'm very surprised the Darkseid does not have a pipe. Yeah, he, he wanted to go for the Axe route into the, the Crimson Guard after. Oh, oh. Is under um, I, I, oh nice punch. But two of your cores are Is it a nice punch, what? though? Not a I'm lot scared. that they can do to slow him down here. He's trying to surge up, trying to get some impact out of that normal punch. Okay. There's the vacuum, another punch in on Faker. But it is not stopping them nice. from getting the job done. Adrian rolling about. Got another stun connection into the Glyphnir, but the Glimmer Cape is there, so it misses. 
surprisingly, he didn't use Crimson Guard to keep the building. Oh, he just dropped the casual he's... wall. What the? F he just drops a casual wall down to the ground, but he's burnt down to a crisp. No buyback oh, either. Oh dear. Pavo. Some very head scratchers right now. Not using the Crimson for the racks because it does apply the shield on the buildings. And then um, that. Nothing will stand okay. Wow. Wow. Well, I, uh, uh, it's at least they only lose the top racks, and he's going to be alive for the next one. So I guess he kind of slowed them down his own way. By the way, do you see what, what Scythe is doing on the Crystal Nova? There you go. He's using the, the Crystal Clone, but he doesn't pop it with the Crystal Nova. I think every ability from Crystal Mania should be called Crystal something. Crystal Bite. Crystal Bite. Crystal, crystal Aura. aura. Yeah. Uh, crystal Field. Crystal Field sounds really cool. Actually, it sounds pretty deadly good. if you make it like drop crystals from the from the ceiling. Add like an, right. you know, like a sound animation right. when when you're in like a frozen cave and you hear like this glass falling off the mm -hmm. off the roof. Yes. Oh yeah, I know cause, that. Because that, now it that, kind of sounds like a, 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 you know, a very, very low-powered uh, lawnmower. I was like, <laughs> 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 the, what are they called? Stalactites or something like that? St stalagmites, stalagmites and stalactites. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but stalagmites when it's from the ground up. Yeah. And stalactites from the sky up. Or yeah. the, sorry, ceiling, ceiling up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, though, this game, what is the win percentage looking like? I'm bet, I mean, probably favors Lava, but 80%, 80% seems fair. I don't think Universitar is out of it, but they have to get a good initiation. It has to be on the Hoodwink. Even the Weaver, I'd be like, if he time lapses, that's a big problem. Hoodwink at least has no save like that. Hoodwink's got freaking Ancient Guardian. And, I mean, he does have the, the armor corruption t uh, talent with the Blight, so that's minus six mm. armor. That is nice. Like, overall, just... I'm looking forward to seeing how much damage Pamplona did, because it is looking like a lot. Yeah, I mean, they're getting to the point where sieging to the high ground, you're actually getting benefit from the Ancient Guardian. So it is a pretty good item. 50 damage already onto your Acorn shot. Scales with mm -hmm. your Daedalus. Pretty nice. But you also get a plus fifty on top of that when you're when you're sieging, so that is good. That is really good. Not quite the tiny right click damage, which is already insane. Yep. But uh, getting but, there. But tiny is also not really building. He does. He's like you know showing up, throwing out with the conda hit, and then he's not really right clicking, right clicking. And oh. I don't. I know CK is. They found oh. the CM. Instant oh. silence there. Gleipnir double oh, Gleipnir shot. even just in case. But the four steps are there. The sharpshooter misses, but it doesn't matter. Adrian will take it down. High five five. Two people He'll dead. Go down. He can just buy back, and he comes back with the time lapse. He's full HP. CK goes down. And they can keep on getting more. Destroyer getting killed by the shield crash. Oh, boy. This was such a different start for Universitario. I remember, they had four kills early on before the horn blows and three bounty ruins. I want to say, I'm not sure. I know CK doesn't typically buy BKB, but at this stage of the game, you kind of need it because he just gets controlled massively in these fights. And you have all other items. You just need a BKB. Uh, is he thinking about it? It is his next item, but I don't know if you're gonna get it before you get thrown. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look ball. good, uh, no matter how Bobo's you put this situation. Uh, it's three versus four. Three, the three guys. Okay, Tavo. Nice, nice. And it's an opening. It's something, but it's just not killing anybody. Nope, it isn't. It can be used by Faker, but it might just make Lava rethink going high ground with that wall. Although the wall is behind the tower, so it's not really... Yeah, it's protecting the racks at least. It doesn't really look much like a wall, though, does it? I mean, it's not like... Like, a wall prevents you from going through, but this wall doesn't. I mean, it's, it's more like a mirage. Right, it should be called something else, like mirror or something like <laughs> that. It's not... It's not wall. Like, okay... Um, what's it called? Kinetic fence? Now that's a wall. Yeah, kinetic fence, that's the one. But that's a fence. But no. this ain't... Yeah. It's but it's, it does what the wall does, which is stop you from passing. Uh, this is now the wall. 
as uh, looks like we are going to have a disconnect here from the Crystal Maiden. Buybacks are available on the Dire side, and a few will be available on the Radiant fairly soon. And it's just... Uh, if you are able to, get, again, get a kill on the Hoodwink and the Weaver, that's something for you. Otherwise, I, there's no way you take these fights. Mm. Not without the, the CK BKB, which he has only 700 gold. He, like, he needs 5,000 gold to have BKB and buyback. Or more. Yeah, that's a nice amount of money. You know, mm. easy to get, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. If everyone <laughs> had, like, a pirate's hat, just enough. Oh, all right. Tier 6 items, uh, sorry, Tier 5, they come out too late. I'm sorry, but an hour, we don't see them enough. It should be brought down to, like, 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's still a pretty big gap between the Tier 4 yeah, and Tier 5. Yeah, it's true, it's true. But, mm. I mean, 40 minutes is already, well, late game. Yeah, so bring it down to 50. Or, 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 or even game. sooner. Mm. Should we add a Tier no. 6? Mm, I don't know if we need to go that far. I think Tier 5 is usually enough to end the game. Like, I've never seen... We have had long Players games, unlock like, an extra inventory slot at 60 minutes. There you go. Now that's the way. Yeah. But it should and, be like and, and only keep a getting inventory slots every 10 minutes. You know, you could have like a, I have a 12 slotted lone druid, and I'm just not talking <laughs> about the bear. I'm talking about the hero. I'm 24 slotted. Uh, Imagine well, the amount of rapiers. Like Right. No, I was thinking about Wraith Bands most likely, right? <laughs> just, like, yeah, just really... Wraith Bands, like, holy. Yeah. How, how much damage uh, mitigation I... do you have? I got 98%. <laughs> 2 2% damage with all those 12 Rapiers. Uh, how it, much would like that actually cash. be? So, wait, a Rapier is... Oh, yeah, it's 100 damage these days. Oh, wait, it is 250, actually. Um, So, 250 times 12, that's 3,000 damage. So 2%, you're, you're doing 60 damage. Oh, but yeah. No, no, Rapier is 350 because you can toggle it so it gives you 100 damage plus Oh yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's plus, true, true, true. So then it's 4,000 damage, meaning a percent is 40. So you get 80 damage. Hooray. There you go. There uh, you go. Uh, Robo Z gets the Tormentor. It's pretty solid, although he is tossing his tree a lot. So it's kind of like... I would say anti-synergy, but it's like sometimes you need it so you can get that Conda proc off of it. Yeah, so. yeah. It's fine. But who else? Though, Dark doesn't... Do you prefer tree toss or crash landing toss for your condo? Oh, and sometimes you don't have a choice, right? Like the, the toss is on cooldown, so you have to throw the, the tree, is uh, what I mean. Hmm. Or then you don't have a tree to toss, so you just use toss. Uh, it's true. It's true. Oh, sentry right on the spot. They see the tiny. That's a great way to start things off. He was Got sitting on the front line waiting to be the one to ambush, but instead he's the one getting jumped on first. And now they can set their sights toward the racks. The LA racks is already down a half. Terrorize flies through. It pushes the Monkey King away, breaks his ulti. They can regroup again on the side of Universitario. Tavo. Nice! What? Five wall! Huge! Absolutely massive! Can they hold it though? They're dropping low on HP on all sides here. Universitario, they got the perfect opening, but can they get the kills that they God. need? Dodd is fighting all the way to the end, and there the cores oh, fall. Oh my goodness, if that is not enough, then That's nothing's it. gonna save you. Tavo with the best vacuum wall combo we've seen in a long time, but didn't feel like there was as much follow up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And we saw, I was seeing the TK, the Monkey King, one on one, right? Each one hitting each, each the other with a big stick, but at the end, Dad came out on top. And even when he died, he had the Aegis. Oh, Tavo again. Tavo has been really putting in the work in these last few fights. He's but... tried his absolute hardest, but even that is not enough. Dad dropping in with a refresher, another ulti. And this looks like this game's gonna be in the bag now. Yep. I guess with maybe I don't know if a pipe would have made any difference, but Tavo, with his plays, was amazing. Unfortunately, they just um, they, I don't feel like they couldn't really leverage their durability. You know, the enemy team was just doing too much damage. Yeah, and sometimes it is a case of that. Unfortunately for them, good good. I would love esports. Uh, firstly, amazing recovery. Dad had a terrible time early on, but he was able to make a comeback. Uh, the supports carrying this game with the damage that they were doing like and we're going to go into the post game screen in a second and we're going to be looking at it because i feel like the hoodwink how much damage did the hoodwink do let's uh, let's see hoodwink did 
20. Okay, 27,000. That's solid. You know, you also get another 25 from your supports from the Weaver. In comparison, Dad, the Monkey King did 40. So 28, 27 is still really good. Really high up there in terms of damage. CM and, and Dark Willow only did 13 and 17 each. So you you are pumping. Actually, the, the Hoodwing did the same amount of damage as the CK. That shows you how much Lava Esports were pumping it out. Oh, yeah. And University Tire, they couldn't take it. Yeah, the power of the uh, overwhelming damage uh, in the end breaks through the defense of Universitario. You got Crimson Guards and everything to try and mitigate it, but it's just it's just not enough. You know, you got Gleipnirs, you got Daedaluses on both sides. I mean, even double in this case <laughs> with the Hoodwink and the Monkey King, but still, no matter how hard you try, uh, sometimes you fall flat on your face. And even with a beautiful five-man vac there from the Dark Seer, just just not enough. Just not enough. But uh, Game two, what do you think? Uh, is it, is it going to be just as close? Hopefully, man, because that was a good one. And it really felt like two different ideas, and one of them just was executed better. And I liked it. It was a good game. I just loved it. And I liked it in the end how just you see the two carries, right? In the middle of the field, everyone's fighting. And the CK and the monkey are just like, pop, 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 yeah. pop. And then that wins, and you're like, ah, oh, that must be so good for him. Well, we'll find out after the break. One expert and Eva Alfie present betting on all esports events on the website and in the One Expert app. One Expert, play with Eva. What if Kunker knew that he could not only play Dota but also place bets? Bet on the best play home. <laughs> One X Bet Bookmaker Company. Chances of breaking items in a tournament match are non existent. <laughs> Chances of winning at 1x bet are always real. Join with me at your service. Stealing Iagus from Roshan is very difficult. Winning at 1x bet is super easy.
skills in the gaming. One X Bet. Respect from 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 One X Bet. Respect Respect from One X Bet. Respect from One X Bet. Respect from One X Bet. Respect. This is Eva. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Your dad's just meeting his favorite dinner. It's duck. Come on inside. They're all probably too gruesome to tell you while you're eating at the table. How's your food? Is everything okay? Good, good. You seem to know each other. Yeah. This is the new ambassador for One X Bed. Oh, I see. Everyone felt good when Eva Elfie became the new ambassador of One X Bed. Well, now that we've recovered from our uh, little hiccups there in between, and of course, Lava Esports scoring their first win uh, versus Universal Tarnio Esports, it's time to look at game number two. Are we looking at it at from a different perspective, from a different eye? You know, I think that uh, I think the drafts were completely fine. Yep. It was really just down to like how do the execution comes into play, mm -hmm. uh, who do they initiate on, who gets the better jump. But most most of the time, it was the radiant side. Uh, the Lava Esports side who were getting the uh, the initiative on these team fights, but even then they they had like a Monkey King on the loose. Everybody else is somewhere else. It's like guys, where are you? I could use some help here. Or Tavo ends up getting like a five man vac wall, and even that is not enough to turn things around for Universitario. So how do you see it? Do you also agree drafts were looking fine, and it was really just down to a coin flip. Kind of, right? Because, I mean, in the, in the beginning, Versatile were doing so. Robo, remember, Robo Z crushed Adrian in the lane. We remember, like, we are talking about, like, 5 for 5 upload and not having a good time. We are seeing Dodd suffer so much in the laning phase. But there were a few item things that I was like, I'm not feeling, you know? I don't know why we don't have a pipe on the dark seal. I understand you want to go for the blink and axe to do that, and that's good, but you needed the pipe because you're leveraging durability to win this game. So that's one. Mm. And there's no BKB on Shroud. So your CK in a lot of these fights is just getting controlled. Remaining. I see him go in, he throws out his illusions inside the Wukong, they melt. Five and you're like, well, now you're kind of useless because you mm. don't even have your own hero to attack with. Well, so, yeah. I mean, yeah. as we go to game number two, uh, two new heroes were taken away from the uncontested mm. pool. Uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure which ones they were because I mm -hmm. did not pay attention to any new picks, at least, uh, going going through the draft. All of these look pretty standard to me, at least. Uh, so maybe in the banning section we saw something, maybe something slightly unorthodox, but we're still going back with, uh, you know, the basics, the Pango first picks. Hero that has been uh, having a lot of success from time to time. This is Shadow in the pool. You know, they're the band of the Monkey King and the it Weaver. Does, very target, very target band. I mean, you can say the Weaver is a meta pick, so it's fine. Five but the Monkey King is remaining. not, not in the same way. And now that leaves Shafi in the pool. Um, I want to say Dark Willow, but as we mentioned, not quite the same. But love that, like, nah, we like what we did with the Hoodwink. And to be fair, 30, 28 to be exact, thousand damage on a support. When your cores are dealing 30 to 30 to you know 40, that's insane. That you're really doing mm. a lot in those situations and it's funny like when we look at the pangolier uh compared to the hoodwink of course hoodwink had big impact that game he had he was part of 28 of the 44 kills but pango was part of 39 out of 44 that's like close to 90 percent of uh, uh kill participation which is huge that is a huge number 
And it's not like in some of those low, you know, like low kill games where it's like 20, you get 18. This is 44. Like that is a lot of kills that you have to be there for. Uh, Beastmaster does get the ban out for Universitario Esports. And uh, I can imagine, like, look at that by the Universitario. They ban out two heroes and they took one of the previous games. They're like, no, no, that's, you guys are too good. You guys are too good with this. Hmm. I love it. What do you want to ban Five out right now? Remaining. What do you want to take here? Right. Grimstalk is a fairly common counter when you go up against the Pangolier, right? And it's not too bad with Radiant the uh, with the Hoodwink, right? Because you can get the double acorn shot. You go. You actually do throw your nuts at them then. Dire team pick. Yeah, acorns. Grimstroke. Yeah, you go. Hmm. Yes, that is what I meant. As a uh, Universitario, they, <laughs> now you see it, you're like, hmm, Grimstroke hmm. here. Yeah, uh, he, he throws his wife, by the way. Oh yeah, he does his wife, right? Everyone's, th <laughs> everyone's throwing something. Uh, Vengeful Spirit remaining. throws herself. Yeah, with the fastest, by the way, she does throw herself now. Do you, yep, you see does. that? She the, does, yeah. That's such a, you, this is how I strongly suspect, at least, that, Ice Rock is still heavily involved in Dota 2 because these are such old Dota mechanics. Team. Yeah. And uh, yes. there you go. Just there you go. You're, you're reading, reading the draft as it is. All right. Who are we throwing in uh, next? Uh, who, is it, does anyone throw their wives, husbands? Tiny uh, time is Tiny in the draft. Tiny's in the draft. Tiny is in the draft. Uh, but... Slark throws himself. Um, Ten seconds remaining. I don't know if he throw. I mean, I know he jumps in, but I don't know if that's the same as actually Five throwing them. Remaining. You know, like because you. If you're throwing yourself, I don't know. I don't know. Venge throws herself and Grimstroke throws his wife. Mm. Mm. Visage lands on them. Visage does land on them. Visage is bad though. So he's not mm. he's not happening. What do you want for Universitario here? You have mm, their Venge is usually played as a support. They have one course. Maybe you'll take another support here. Dark Willow is in the pool. Mm. Phoenix is banned out, Weaver's gone, Shadow Demon is there. Shadow Demon might not be so bad to save people who get caught by either the Bushwhack or the Soma. I wouldn't mind the Shadow Demon. I think Shadow Demon, I'd prefer that over the Dark Willow. Yes. Mm. Only something they can look at. Hey, yep. phys physical damage amp already works nice with Pango Venge. Yep. Maybe more. Does that mean. You will go for Slardar, new. No. Probably not no, yet. I mean, I think if you pick Slardar, you want to keep it open Radiant for a bit. Team pick. Oh, wow. So that's another hero that amps. You got synergy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you can take the. And both facets are very valid. Like, I like the one that reduces the uh, armor and magic resistance by 1%, or like one armor, one magic resistance every second. That mm. feels like. It's quite impactful, especially it's in the really laning phase where you're going to be like there for a while, right next to each other. Yeah, you got you oh, got to exist for a very long time. Radiant yeah. team pick. But you know, I look at it now and I'm starting to think, is this going to be a Venge carry and it's going to be the ET5? Tiny and Brew on the other side come out. Solid. Or Lava Ace, where you mentioned the Tiny, there it is. Brewmaster. Hmm. Havel. No, it's not, sorry, not Havel. So Adrian does play a decent amount of Brew. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know who from Universitario plays Venge. It's not really on their most picked heroes for anything. And Five throughout all of this, remaining. by the way, nobody wants Shadow Fiend. Nobody wants Witch <laughs> Doctor. Have you noticed? Witch Doctor the whole day yeah, has been also ignored. Yeah, completely ignored. Has it, has it right. been uh, removed from all the pro players' minds? It feels like it. I mean, I know that the, the Radius and the Heal are both like pretty solid nerves, but if you're up against like two melee, like Brewmaster Tiny, it, no, actually not going to be because it's going to be Grimstroke Hoodwink. So, yeah. Maybe Universitario doesn't want the, the Witch Doctor. But I'm Witch Doctor SF. I'm like, does neither interest you? Dire team back. Medusa. Medusa versus the Brew. Back. Okay. Interesting idea. Hmm. hmm. Okay, the mana anti mage, that's solid. Uh, but we'll see if Lava, what, what kind of mana burner they can get. Hoodwink doesn't mind going for a diffuse. It's not Radiant ideal. It's not like, you know, that best item, like a male star, but you can get it. And you can get a few good bounces off of it and it does help quite a bit. And you also have, sorry about a Grimstroke on the other side. You know, 
Dark portrait, yes, it's expensive, but another aspect. We'll see Lava Queen's concerned taking a tear blade, making use of the Medusa for themselves. Five seconds I think it's too early to show a Medusa. I think it's too early. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you don't want to last phase, I mean, if you want to protect mm. the pick, then you ban, yeah. of course. Of course, you have the two bans to protect the pick you go for on the Fair. 18th. Fair. And if you last pick go. Medusa, then it's kind of like, oh, they banned Anti-Mage. I think it's time for us to ban Medusa then, maybe. But, of course, you could do it like ban Anti-Mage, pick Medusa. That, that you're, you're right. Yeah. You, you could do it that way. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm just, that's why I'm, I'm a little bit like, mm, But would have there okay. been another carry pick instead of Medusa to go up against the Brewmaster? I uh, know, I'm, I'm fine with them keeping the Medusa, but I'm like, is it? But if there like, were maybe... some other hero, because mm. if Lava was reading the Medusa pick, they would have just banned it. So they were probably they... worried about that fact. Are they? I mean, you have a Grimstroke. Like I said, Aghanim's on... Again, Dyer it's very expensive, back. but you have that option. Uh, we can expect Brewmaster is going to get a Radiance, so 15% of your damage is going to get mitigated no matter what. Uh, and Lava can still go for some sort of Mana Burner here. I've seen Kornix Assassin. I don't think I want to see it here, but I've I seen mean, it. <laughs> I, um, I, no, no, no. I'm not ready for it. One thing I would really be ready for is a post 3 Gyrocopter. Five seconds mm, remaining. For Universitario? Yes. Eh, why not? I mean, it's I'm really solid. liking the pause three gyrocopter. I tried it myself, and people mm. have been like, "Oh, we." Like, I remember this one solo game. My team was literally saying, "Like, yeah, we lost the draft uh, because of this pick. Like, what is this?" And I went eight and zero because it's right. just so damn good. But you know, Spirit Breaker finally gets to see this hero. Uh, mm. It's been a while. Spirit Breaker has right. been picked four times so far in this tournament. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I wonder what's really going. I think it's either going to be Juggernaut, Wind Ranger, or Ursa Five for that here. Remaining. Here, we'll see. Oh, when you pick pick the gyro off lane, is it like right click or do you go for the magic build? Uh, Vessel Blade Mail. Vessel Blade Mail, max out barrage and rocket. Skip your flat cannon. Ah. Beat your beat your opponents in the lane because if you're taking comparison, think about it. Like. Mm. Oh, all right, so I saw this on a speed tier list, and I think he had some really good reasoning behind it. Uh, my, mm. you're, you're my boy, Speed. Uh, he's okay. like, you pick DP, Viper, Razor in thoughts of I'm going to dominate the lane. But these three heroes mm. don't sometimes even dominate the lane. So why does not Gyrocopter fit into the picture of that list? Because he does exactly the same thing. He beats the lane. Mm. He's a really good lane dominator. And with the Afterburner, uh, it's kind of hard to get rid of that guy as well. Like when he's chasing you with Rocket Barrage... He's stuck. You're, you're kind of stuck with him, yeah. So you need to use uh, zoning abilities to get rid of him. And he already deals overwhelming amounts of damage if you're alone. So there's theory to it. And I tried it out, and it worked. Uh, we lost the game, though. But I was 8-0, and, and we took early towers, and we just wiped on the high ground. So it wasn't really down to the, the hero pick. But still, um, we need... Jug Wind Jug, Ranger or Wind Ranger. I like the Jug idea. Jug We're going to go with the Juggernaut. I'm, I'm with you on this uh, one. Nothing against that. Yep, they needed someone who can build a raid. Uh, sorry, Diffusal. You already have a Radiance Builder on your side. So it wasn't going to be like Blood Plus Life Stealer shit against Medusa no matter what. <laughs> uh, Gyro, Shadow Fiend. Not too good. So looking at the heroes for that dad plays, Jug, Wind Ranger, Ursa were the ones who can build Diffusal and do fairly well. Of the three... I was feeling the jug the most because if you see like a spirit breaker charging, you can sort of prepare for it. There's a lot to like. It is going to be the four spirit break, which means it's going to be the Tavo Venge. Hmm. There you go. And you only played one game of the gyro offlane, because uh, or did you play multiple? Uh, I haven't really played since. I've just been chilling, oh, okay. watching how the sea patch is unfolding. But uh, I'm gonna give it mm -hmm. another try. But Venge three is also another one that. It is a pop stomper right now. Like, this hero is in a good place. Damage output-wise, I just do not like the facet he has right now. I hope he changes that. Oh, Avenger that. Missile? Yeah, I hope he changes that. Oh, man. You guys. Uh, Avenging Missile is fine. Oh, momentum is on the... Oh, Elder Titan. I'm not sure which one that is. I think that's the one that's... That's the attack speed one, right? Attack speed in, in exchange for attack speed. All right, that's the, how it works. Instigate, three bounce, avenging missile, avenging missile. I'd like to see it. I mean, I think it can do work wonders. 
To be fair, I do think it's also a support one. So him taking it as a core is kind of like, mm. maybe not. Like how much? And, and it's also odd because I'd love it if it gives you base damage extra, right? Like Magic Missile does, you know, 50% extra damage and an additional, you know, half damage per See? creep kill. Could be stronger. And that's why the other yeah. facet is better. That's true. Like right now, it, I'm looking at it like it's when you start... Luster. It's very lackluster early on, because it's like, you... Uh, he's stuck to it, by the way. It is Avenging Missile. Oh, no. It is Avenging Missile. He's all right, let, let's, see what he, let's see what he cooks. Did you see that clarity on your screens right now for the 1xbet mobile app? That QR code, mm -hmm. it works. It's it's there every single game. Every start of the game, you have the chance to load it up. If you do not have it, of course, go check up the 1xbet mobile app. But uh, well, the, let's, see, let's see what he cooks on this Tabo Venge. Oh, uh, he's cooking, brother. He's cooking, but, but it's like, but it's like you're saying, like, what is, what are we gonna get? Something a first blood fight. Something... That's what we're gonna oh, get we go. for sure. I hope at least, you know, Juggernaut already moving mm. away, and no, we are not gonna. We just get a D ward. Does anyone? I, you know, I'll be honest. If I'm Round universal. two. I'm, I'm, oh, here we come. Another. I think I'd be step. scared for the dire. Oh, okay, everyone also, goes for. They also ward. put another ward down on the ground. This is very yeah. bold. Everyone's committed. I would, I would favor Lava. Oh, they're pausing. Right, okay, wrong. guys. Uh, do, do, we, do we really want to do this? Because I would think that up against a Hoodwink, Brew, Jug, Tiny, Grinch, like this is strong. Other side, solid, but what does like Spirit Breaker do? Hmm. He's garbage in this situation. The fun no, part is that ward does not show in this axle, so they did not see anything <laughs> about the heroes actually walking back to the high ground. That's a, that's a blind spot. Uh, and it's like if you try to cut the trees and you reveal that there's a ward there. Like, yeah, you got three you trees tree? to cut down there, so uh, they're coming back. Goes one right. That's right That's under it things. now. Guys are teasing. They're really teasing here, but we're not getting a fight. They're teasing, but no pleasing. That's exactly. what we just had. So we're just going to have a casual bounty split two for two and roll out the laning stage. And also the wisdom runes were all, sorry, not wisdom runes, the bounty runes were also the same with uh, two for two. No, no, by the way, so yep. I, I just I mean, said that. The <laughs> observer wards, I was going to say observer wards. Observer wards. Each one gets one. Yeah. It's 5 a.m., man. I'm sorry. Yeah, the day is yeah. late. The day is late, yeah. sure. Don't but, worry. But I, did, we do have... I intended to say observer wards. Yeah. We do have, uh, you know, Bowie will be, uh, you know, we get, you, you can go to sleep and uh, Bowie's going to tune in for the final series. Also, quick shout out to all of you folks out there. We do have another series coming after this one, but yep. we need to take a tiny tech pause after this game oh. is finished. So uh, a slightly longer break uh, between series two and series three. But do not worry. If the stream goes offline, it does not mean we're over or, or done for the Day. We still have that last series coming up. Just going to be uh, a quick tech pause in between. We'll remind you again once we are uh, done with game two of Lava versus Universitari. So don't worry. Adrian, though, taking a lot of hate here, and he might just Holy drop, but a no. miss comes out, and that crucial miss because Elder Damn. Titan, he lost his buff after that hit. So that would have actually been the death of Adrian. Meanwhile, Pamplona might actually kill him instead. My oh, lord, the calls. amount of like, yep, very close to the top lane for both sides here. In the meantime, though, uh, yeah, neither core is farming that exceptionally well. You know, focusing a little bit on zoning each other out. And level one Spirit Breaker is so pathetic, by the way. Mm. This is my most played hero. I love him. But level one, you always feel like ass. You, you can take charge, <laughs> which gets you there. But it's like, so now what? Exactly. Or you can take Greater Bash. Which is like one out of six attacks does something, but how often are you even melee range yeah. to do it? And Faker's destroying this mid lane, by the way. It's 11 7 to the 6 and 2, tossed under the tower. Robo's here to tank the tower as well. This tiny is destroying this pango so far. Yeah, it's only really the best days for the stand in mids, you know? Robo's like here. It. But no, it's not, just not having. One time he did play really well in the previous game though 10 minute dagger on that tiny was really impactful it was it was very important that he had it and the uh the order of the build too with phylactery above the uh, echo saver that was solid that was very solid as well meanwhile scythe just zoning two people out by himself. so that's the nice thing about elder titan 
as a stat hero like you start with a lot you reduce tons of armor and magic resistance like you don't need much to function as this guy in the laning stage Robo's E. I think it's showing a bit of flair. He gets the courier snipe there. Baker from getting to micro your couriers. Can't happen to the pro scene. Oh, yes, it happens all the time. All the time. It, uh, sometimes I wonder if pros, like, I'm sure they know how much gold is. Like, if you told the carry, hey, you want 150 extra gold, they'd be like, yeah, of course, man, that's amazing. Like, well, you, when you feed a carry, you give them 150 gold. They'd be like, what? No way. Well, they just As gave a... a bunch of gold to the Elder Titan there. He's gonna be afford to able. He's gonna be able to afford his boots now. He's got 500 right, gold so in his pockets, saving the Medusa's lane with that kill. Her lane was. Yeah, he's already got Windlace as well, so it's also going to add even more attack speed. Meanwhile, I'm still. Is Talpa gonna max magic missile? I mean, when you do take. So he's got one, one, and one, which I like. I think some people wait too long to get Vengeance Aura. It's like it's nice. Just True. get early 10%. Adds up. Charge. But now what? Where's Destroyer going? Really uh, gonna plan on hitting Faker? Nah, it's just a water rune mm. steal. Make sure that they're nice drying out the tiny's bottle. Mm -hmm. I like that move. I mean, he was already getting away in CS. And is he, you know, I was like, is he going base? But no, he's just going to uh, body block the wave. I, I like that. You know, small move. That's one thing you can do with the Spirit Breaker charge. Is always help out your mid. Yep. I mean... And also, for anyone who doesn't know this, if you charge someone and they die, no matter what, you get assist gold. So it's always worth it. We're like, oh, someone's dying on the other side, just charge. Firstly, it secu helps secure the kill in case they juke. And secondly, you get assist gold. You know, that 30, 40 adds up to, like, it starts adding up later on by quite a bit. That's uh, one of my favorite things about this guy is that you, you could be farming. Oh, nicely done, man. Faker's on fire. He has, steals a bounty, kills a courier, walks out. He's like, yo, what's up? Yeah. <clears throat> Important little snipe there. Looks like he's rushing straight up Blink Dagger. Or he has his uh, brown boots and he's like, yeah, I just want to go for uh, Blink after. I'm okay with this. Oh. Robo Z. Maybe, maybe. Not close enough to the top. Maybe enough damage either way. Close attempt at least. Missing right click on Pamplona. Might have been the one they needed. Breaking the bottle Again. regeneration. Rolls in Whoa. and maybe with that barrier it might be possible. And he's so close to getting both of them. And they both live. Unbelievable. That, By both, is, honestly. that is really such a disappointment for the Pango. You know, you did the right thing. You almost made yep. it work out, but they were just a little bit too far. Pamplona didn't tank the tower, and they only got one hit out. And now, of course, Dodd uh, does end up going down on the other side of the map. So the Vengeful Spirit, you know, talked about his build. He's going 1-2-1. One, one. And he's already got Bell Tells with the mana. Man, it's, the thing is, like, well, I was really impressive from all three players in the mid lane. Like, the fact that the two on Lava committed, and then he almost, Robos, he almost turned around. Like, it's quite oh, impressive. Uh oh, like, all right, uh -oh. That's, what, that's, well, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's just Elder Titan for you. You know, it's like, uh, you, you come out, you like, you have this, like, uh, an inferior strong hobbit, you know, comes out of the staircase. You remember in Lord of the Rings Ooh, nice where he's kind of like, like roaring out there. Oh, they're roaring uh, and slowing up Dot. They're diving under the tower, really giving the punishment and the hurt. But they get to ret retaliate. Mm. This is a kill. Remember that scene in the, the third Lord of the, Lord of the Rings where, uh, uh, what was it Sam called? Sam scares Sam, them. Ah, ah. And then he comes out of the shadows and then they're like, oh, that's just a hobbit. And they just charge him. And he's got a pan and a sword. Yeah, right? that was the same thing with the Elder Titan, you know, like Rimstroke showing up and then Elder Titan just runs at you and just smacks you down. It's like, oh, you're not so strong now. Oh, hey, Faker's going Tom. for the Wisdom Rune. He is. And Scythe's already yeah. taken it as well. So it's like, yeah, we're already here. And we got three versus one. And the Ancients are helping us out. What do you think about that? You know, we well, bribe like the AI. Maybe around. still a kill, potentially. The Avalanche and Pamplona. Robo Z coming in for the retaliation. Swashbuckled up on the high ground. Comes back down the shield crash. 555 being chased. The bug gets killed off. And the knife. Oh! Don't That's underestimate the golems. These are golems, by the way. They, they are? What are those? those are some weird dragon thingy, right? No, but they're, they're, the shaman. I don't know what the hell these are called. Troll? These are trolls, I think. 
mean, the shaman's a troll, sure, but the golem, mm. they're not trolls. Those yeah, are they're frostbitten golems. Yeah, they say golems. Yeah, they're, they're created yeah. out of clay. Uh, bottom lane, da, taking a lot of damage. This joke's not enjoying life. No, he's not. That's, he's dead On again. the other side, though, Medusa is just free far, but she's at the top of the net worth, having a fantastic game. No pressure at all. So all the freedom in the world. Yes, but is it enough freedom? Will it be able to match up once the Diffuse comes on Jug? I don't think the Diffuse little Jug is enough to bring down Medusa, actually. Feels like it's nice, but not really... Yeah, I, I don't even think we're going to see a Diffuse little at all on this Juggernaut, to be completely honest. That was the longest toss in a while. I saw... I think he got tossed while he was in mid, like he was bushwhacked yeah. when he was in mid air, so he was up in the air. Yeah, you know, like, str str strangling in the sky. And we're bushwhacking you to the end, it's like, okay. But does that take away the toss damage? I think it does. Well, that's a good point. I, th I thought so too, because I was like, when uh, he was on the ground, I was like, huh, I didn't hear the thud of the landing, mm. you know? Yeah, I didn't see a quick shift in his HP pool because that is a maxed out toss, which should take like at yeah. least 50% off of any hero Radiant's right now. It's, and he's got it's, the... it's roughly 400 damage. Yeah. It's crash landing as well. And there you go. Blink dagger. Last game we were like, oh man, Robo Z 10 minute blink was awesome. Faker's got a 9 minute blink. That's even awesomer. Mm. Awesomer. Awesomer. Uh, Adrian, he hasn't been doing too much on this brewmaster. Just farming away, got double bracers, got the talisman as well. He's like, I'm just farming. Everyone leave me alone. Same thing again. Toss and bushwhack. Take down Scythe. Well, if you're a Universitario, you, I feel like you want to stick a little early before this defusal comes out. And while you're Medusa, like she's ahead in items. When we think about like carries, we always think, oh yeah, late game, they're so strong. But there's no reason mm. not to be super strong at 15 minutes as well, if you're ahead in that worth. Yeah, I mean, there are some of these games where Medusa might get uh, involved early, and it never feels good to do so. It feels like she's been forced to join the fights. But right now, there's enough activity happening on the map that Medusa can literally just focus on the PvE part of Dota. Hit your creeps and then start calling shots how strong you are on this hero, what to do. No, but I think you can go and join them for some towers as Faker. He wants someone squishy and he does find a squishier target. Let's go with that. Yeah, squishier, but still pretty damn tanky. At the same time, the Faker's acorn charged. shot keeps on bouncing back and forth. Elder Titan is low. But yeah, Faker, you got four hostiles. You got four bogeys on your back. And they'll just make sure that he can get stun locked on the spot, taken down. Solid. But wait, it did take a lot of their time, right? It like did take a lot chasing. of time, yeah. I mean, of course, it is shutting down a, a soon to snowball tiny, but yep. very important still, uh, just, just to make sure they are chasing your hero, not giving that instant kill away. Top lane, oh. I think he may have charged the creep rather it than. It looks yeah, like it, yeah. Oh, no, wait, it does say he's charging uh, the Brewmaster, okay. But it doesn't look like it's on Brewmaster, does it? Yeah, it looks like it's on the creep. It feels like it's a miss, but it is. Uh, oh, I think it may have been on the creep and the creep just died. That's why it's switching. I don't know, but yeah, it, it, if you click on Spirit Breaker, it does say yep. the panda. Charging yeah. this hero. The, charging, that's the one. I love how you need two buffs for it. Charge of Darkness, charging. Charge of Darkness, mm -hmm. target, charging this hero. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, just so you know. Can we, can we look yeah, at Spirit already... Breaker while we're paused? Dark eyes. Look at, look at the buffs. Re read the two buffs there on the buff list there. We got Charge of Darkness target charging this hero and Charge of Darkness charging. <laughs> uh, why do we need two? Why do we need I two? Mean, well, to be fair, probably because they updated without... Like, you, they should remove the charging. Just keep the target one or the other one. Yeah. But I love the description. Charging! Uh, well, what more do you want? Now he's oh. charging something else. <laughs> uh, the smith came out, it wasn't worth it for him to continue. Yeah. Would have probably uh, died if he if he went that deep. Well, that doesn't... Can a brewmaster solo kill spirit full life spirit breaker? Maybe. I would I didn't expect him to go for a 113 build. Because now the charge costs less mana mm. early on, you might want to put a point in bulldoze. Yeah. Because it's like you end up losing the same mana, because but yeah. you get the benefit of a bulldoze. They, like, nah. 
They saw the smoke and they even scan on top of it. So Tavo's making double sure that are they coming my way? Are they going somewhere else? So they know exactly what's up. Faker, oh, blink. Oh. He, he still gets to jump him. Uh, I mean, I mean, they better turn this one around because they saw this one coming from a mile away, and yes, they do. They punish Faker for his dive. So, so first they saw him with the ward in mid. Then they scanned the stairs to check where he is going or where they are going. And they still get to jump him. So if they did not retaliate, that would have been a bad play from Universitario. But I'm thankful that they did. They get another kill on Tiny, who has gotten 600 net worth in the last, what, three minutes. So this, this Tiny has really been shut down since he picked up that Blink Dagger. It's not working out. No, it's not. And the, the thing is, the Venge is a stat-heavy hero with a Bracer, with an Occult Bracelet, with Power Tres. Like, she has got health. And, and of course, no Grax. Oh, and a point booster, sorry. Yeah, very, <laughs> Forgot very about that. So the idea that you can just jump in and burst her down under tower was Lava Esports making a big miscalculation. Oh, uh, what? how do you feel about that taunt? The one where she's, I think, making chicken salad? I don't know what exactly The Venge taunt? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they are both, uh, you know, with Skywrath Mage, they're from the, the whatever, the gas, not the ghastly eerie, but the, the, mm. the sky, the group, you know. the, the spire or something. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, the winged people. The Spires of Skywrath. Yeah, that's the one. So, it's kind of like oh. Avenge mocking the Skywrath page, to be honest, lore-wise. But then again... Oh. Um... I thought she loved him, though. Yeah, What's I'm that? not entirely sure about that whole thing, but... Middle tower is under attack. Yeah, the, to be fair, Dota 2 and its lore, not something most people would be very interested in. I feel like they, they should do a better job Make a with better it. Oh. Game. <laughs> Robo Z, he is gonna be okay. This gets, I mean, he is very durable as well. Like, even even though you think Tiny should be having a good game right now with that fast blink dagger, still like, nah, can't find any pickoffs right now. Mm. I mean, the taunt is called the Royal Rasper. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, Stronger. that good. That, what? Wow. What was that Omni Slash? Literally did not jump any other target. There's a melee creep. There's two Medusa illusions. And he's, he's like, he, no. he, he swung every single slash on the Spirit Breaker. So he actually gets a kill in a situation he probably shouldn't have. He was just no, supposed to die. Dyer's middle tower. He's very, I mean, that's my very thing. I was like, well, that's awesome for me. I just, I can't The best possible happening. RNG you could have hoped for. Uh, no RNG there. Adrian gets the radiance now. Yeah. This Time is to burn a, it up. Solid, a solid power spike. Oh. And this is also a Venge kill before the axe is finished. They missed the Angst Wall stun, though. And Vantabo is just going to keep on throwing right clicks. Uh, Faker, though. Gets out, Tavo down, yeah, Destroyer shot. is probably going to die as well. But Robots and Scythe are coming in. They're going to join this fight. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be enough to save Destroyer. Nope, he gets burned. Yeah, it's a big the, Earth Splitter, but no follow-up. Rolling Thunder's up in six. If they, stick, if they stick around, if they stick around, there's a possibility for Nibbles and to get some kills. Adrian probably assumes that they, oh, well, that they have the role already available. So he's like, ah, just trying to, well, try to walk away. Yeah, they're overstaying their welcome now. Gotta get out of there. Tiny might try to turn it around here. Faker, he's in the area, but they, they, just they probably know Rolling Thunder's up again. Charge is coming through. That is that is a very interesting way to play it. I'll talk to you about that in a second as the Medusa is gonna get killed by the looks of it. Just gets enough mana. No, Shroud lives and Pamplona dies to Robo Z. And five triple five. five trying to TP out, but you're going straight into the nether by Destroyer. And a bash, of course. So Scythe gets a double kill. So Elder Titan Spirit Breaker. Yep. Astral Spirit Vision into charge. Simple as that. That's cool. That's very cool. I mean, Reminds me always... of the days of Bounty Hunter Track and Tinker Rockets. I was going to say that exact thing. <laughs> yeah, like it, it, it's very, it's it very similar. It's uh, Tavo. Oh, Tavo. He's gonna be like, oh, okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not interested in this DD room. I'm gonna leave it for them to pick it up. So, uh, a bit of a mistake Tavo. there. Stops not I even on the point. Now Scythe is gonna die, and now Lava is getting quite a lot out of this. Shroud's coming in. Throws in uh, the snake. They stun the Joker, not stun the Brewmaster, but Destroyer's still gonna die. 
I thought they were actually fine with the swap. I was like, all right, they're just gonna walk away now because they swapped and you know they absorbed a, a, a army slash. But no, that was like, I gotta go. I gotta that was die. huge and, for Dodd. Uh, it was. Oh, was a triple kill coming out for him? Yeah, he got 750 gold. He dealt 5,000 damage there. And no retaliation whatsoever from Universitario. They got literally one swap out. This is uh, getting... I don't say scary, but one, th one thing I find interesting is that Dada has no interest in mana burn. He's going to go for yep. the Manta into the Aghanim Scepter. Maybe he'll get mana burn later, but he's like... At the moment, he's like, nah, mana burn's fine. I don't really care too much about it. Interesting. Yeah, that's what, that's what I that's what I thought. Like, uh, of, you, you'd consider Mana Burn to be really good versus Dyer's the Medusa, but Disperser is okay. You're living with this new Battle Fury with the strong dispel at the end of the spin. Oh, Shroud, he's getting dispelled from life. But man, you see that? Mm. That's a lot of damage, and he wasn't exactly full mod to begin with. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, when uh, you have a Hoodwink in your team, you're, you already got the break versus Mana Shield. It's not like you're deleting her, but it definitely takes away a lot of extra points that the Mana Shield gives for you. Meanwhile, Robo Z gets to roll away, and since there's nobody nearby, that Soulbind is for nothing. Okay, you can out. break Mana Shield? Oh, yeah. That. yeah, you can. Well, you can technically break it. I don't know how much it actually takes away. I guess that's another I thing swear. to look at. I actually forgot to look at the replay of that last game and check out what happened with the uh, the pango roll, the roll interaction. Because that was really good. That was really good. Uh, well, we maybe have time during that tech break. Well, of course, you're going to sleep, but I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah, you message me on Discord as they go for it. Medusa's out of mana. Medusa, could you really use some help? Medusa looks like, really He's like, guys, dangerous. I got no mana. I got no nothing. Tavo finally Soul with swap. the swap. But this Dusa is still Arcade struggling. Boots. But man, Medusa's yeah, got yeah. so much HP already. It's so hard to kill this hero. Magic stick. There you go. And this is the biggest issue. Faker is being charged, but he's going to be caught. Thing is, do they have any follow-up for him? Maybe. Side the glimmers just to get the extra attack speed. Yep. Oh, nice bash. Uh, it's really rough for Faker there. Nobody really to well. help him out. I mean, they, they use so much to try and kill Shroud. I mean, mm. they killed no one and they did 4,200 damage. This is this is why I, I, I kind of feel like you really need that mana burn. Maybe you don't like the Spurs or on Juggernaut. Right. Sure, he, he's, got, he's got it lined up. He's got it lined up now. Good. Good. The man knows. Like, there's no way. I, otherwise, well, there's no point in picking the Juggernaut. You should pick someone thing else if you're not gonna go to Fusel. Mm. It makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, and and I like what uh, five 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 is going for. He's gonna finish his Aether lens, and he's like, I want Ags. He's also like a super good counter to the Medusa. You get a, a, a better version of Medusa. Medusa's cuter sister, if she has one in the lore. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Probably the mid-tier one tower is going to be taken away here with Shroud leading the charge. Tavo right next to him, giving that vengeance aura. Also getting a nice, sizable little buff. Oh, and they're going for Roshan on the other side. By the way, we, we talked about good Roshan, uh, like, for Aegis carriers. We didn't mention Medusa. She's one of the best, for sure. Medusa's great. Juggernaut's good. We have yeah, spin. Good. Meanwhile, what do we have? We are very close to Shadowblade on Destroyer. He did go for the uh, Phase Boots and Twin Blades. I like what he's doing, by the way. The level 10 talent on Spirit Breakers, they're not great. You know, 4 armor is meh. Night Vision is okay. But, like, more points than Bulldoze is actually way better than, the, than both mm. talent choices. I often end up picking the level 10 talent choice at level 16. Because at level... 50, you want to take the bulldoze cooldown, so you have like this super good bulldoze by then. Tips and tricks from a from a spirit breaker spammer. Oh. Uh. Well, spirit breaker enjoyers. Oh, and, and for you, no extra charge either. Hoodwink is also building a diffusal blade, by the way. Ah, yes, I knew that you would at some point. Uh, after the Gleipnir, it makes sense because early on you still get good damage from Mielsen, but 
you want it. Your acorn yeah. shots are gonna bounce around. Couple will hit the Medusa. Every tiny bit of mana you can bring yeah. down adds a lot. There's so much spice in Lava's itemization, you know what I mean, Cynthia. Mm. Disperser for Jug, Diffusal for Hoodwink. We got 3.4k gold Dude. for a support Grimstroke going He's for rushing Agonyms. Eggs. He's rushing eggs. He's rushing eggs. <laughs> and then you have a Conda ready on Tiny. Man, these are some pretty big items for Lava this early on. When I was looking at Grusa, he's at 2.3s. I was like, oh, he's getting Aetherlands because he had, like, I was like, oh, he's gonna go one buy for it. You know, maybe he wants to be cool or something. And I was like, wait, yeah. wait a minute. You're only 600 gold for the eggs now. This is. Oh, you got Eye of Vizier, so you do have cast range. Yep. Yeah. Just needs 600 gold and he's finished his eggs. So, uh, and it's gonna be a very early Medusa illusion coming into play. Medusa, by the way, the... pushing out the top wave. Uh, they do not have the Aegis, so I think they're going to think about that tier 1 tower twice. Yeah, Medusa's also got the... <laughs> She's got a Scotty, so you are going to get a very strong illusion Radiant if you can get her. And, you know, there's a case to be made that you might want the Venge illusion as well for the uh, Vengeance aura, but it's level 1, so not really that good. Oh, honestly, the last hit, so you know exactly... All right, so you're doing... Not bad, actually. Dyer's You're doing about an extra two, attack. nearly 200 damage against Radiant's Juggernaut every time you throw an Avenging attack. Missile. And almost 130 or so on the Brewmaster. Not too bad. You're still not a fan, though, of the Dyer's facet, of course. Scanning. All right. Uh, I mean, not, not a lot, but I guess Hold in this game where you have Radiant's a lot of farmers, maybe it, maybe it works out, but still... They're going to try and defend this tower, bring in with the bushwhack. They got the, uh, the sharpshooter connected right on the vengeful spirit, so no aura buff for a second. And Tavo is gone. Does have uh, the ag, so he's still going to be around for this team fight. Medusa also thrown into Shot the air. Age is gone. Omni Slash still available. Swap Whoa. quickly comes out as well. They're going to try and focus Tiny at the same time. Destroyer coming in with the Astral, uh, sorry, the Nether Strike. And almost getting him down, but just not quite enough. And there's the Omni Slash, slashes Robo Z, and there's your Medusa down as well. The whole team cleaned out of the way we'll as Lava forever. will team wipe Universitarium. Great start, getting that Soul Bite on two from the beginning. They get rid of the Vengeful Spirit. I don't know where Destroyer was, because he showed up, I think, fairly late in that fight, didn't he? Like with that charge, I was like, yeah. wait, where's. And then they seem like, wait, you guys are only three. What the hell? Um, they do get the Aegis off of the Juggernaut, which is nice, but you spent so much to do it that it's really not, it's totally not worth it. Yeah, it was. It would have either, either been a good play if they got out after the Aegis burnt, or if they got to kill everybody on the side of the lava, but Universitario were feeling a bit soft and squishy already. Dodd also gets to throw that uh, Omni Slash right on top of the Pangolier, so no matter how much barrier you have, this Jug is... You can, you can really st start to feel the hurt. And guess what? 555, five, five, he's got Agaves and 2,000 gold, so he can go for, for Aetherlands if he wants oh, to. Oh, 555. Five, five. Being charged like up. But... Nice Inkswell, pretty early on as well. I think he got some minor information about that charge. Radiant yes, awesome. he, has the, uh, he had the illusion of Venge that he himself created. Uh, in the area when the Spirit Breaker passed by. Mm. Solid. I was like, oh, very good. Very well played. And this is going to be such a problem. I mean, this illusion comes out, you're in trouble. And Tavo, he's barely ahead of these supports on the Venge. And this is why I don't like Venge as a core. She just farms <laughs> super slow. Wrong facet. Oh, no, no, the facet is perfect. It's a great facet. Yeah, the the facet's also. wrong for farming. That's true. The facet is pretty garbage for farming. Unless you want to fling your uh, magic missile around for wave, uh, clearing waves. I mean, it's 105 mana, but you'd need more mana regen to make it sustainable. And the shards, right? Because they yeah. get the double value. All right, so, so let's calculate. Um, the full-on last hits at the moment. I opened my calculator right now. So I know the numbers are rising, so I'm going with estimates. We have 290 on Medusa-ish. We have 195 on the Pango. Another 194 on the Venge. 44 for the Spirit Breaker and 18 on the Elder Tank. We have 696 last hits. Uh, and we are going to divide that with... Was it 0.25 or 0.75 I need to divide it with? Uh, 0.75. 0.75. 
Well, you can multiply it, so I multiplied by 0.75. Oh, yeah, 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 true, true. Mm. I was like, what? Um, but, but, I mean, it says on the enemy units... So it's, 500 and, so it's 522 damage, supposedly. Mm. No, no, it's only per how much you per t you killed yourself, not the whole game. For every creep the enemy has killed. Yeah, so like... So like just the individual targets? Yes. CS score? Oh my god, that's so bad. Um, I mean, <laughs> so sorry, it's only man. good on cores, but it sucks on yes. supports. Ah. Exactly. Okay, so, th so then that facet is actually just ass. It's not really. I mean, I'm, really? first I'm surprised you thought of it was on base of all, but yeah, it's like... I'd prefer it being like full on team CS score. That actually is a good facet. That that would be cool. That would actually be be solved. But now because because that would have been plus oh. five hundred damage on top of it. But still, Oof, nice quick attempt done. there onto the spirit breaker. He's able to get out though. That dust uh, also wears out really quickly with the bulldoze. Luckily, he was able. Luckily, he had the bulldoze and the the shadow blade. Unfortunately, this is not. A good game for bull rush because you're losing imbalance would have been actually been the better facet for uh, spirit breaker because hmm. then you can be like oh they're going high ground i can do it same thing as what tiny does but a little bit more reliable if it goes through so magic missile and jug does about 560 damage and then magic resistance mm -hmm. which has already got 32 go. percent off so you're still doing like what 200 damage 400 damage something on your missile. Not amazing, but it's something. It's no, just going to wear off with magic resistance as time passes. Yeah, but it also gets better as they may, as they have more creeps. And more creeps do Yeah, but everyone's... But items. Items, you know. <laughs> magic resistance goes higher. Stats goes higher. Your, your damage doesn't keep up. Dodd! Oh, I'm a hater. I will, I, will, I will never understand it. Dodd! Trying to make a run for it. Soulbind, Soulbind comes out, out, and RoboZeeb refuses to connect it with anybody. Meanwhile, the Omni Slash Whoa. at the back line. He could use some help. Baker's Tavo. coming in as well. Tavo's going to go down. And now onto the Juggernaut, they go as well as he finishes the Omni Slash. Unable to get a quick connection after that, but they've lost already three heroes. They lost the Elder Titan before. He's about to respawn. Medusa trying to make a run Shroud. for it. Shroud quickly with the Ogre Seal Totem. Faker coming back in as well. They need a little bit more squeeze in their way through. Shroud! The stomp comes through. No! They got so close, but no to... cigar dies in front of the stairs of the fountain. And Faker and Adrian, they clean up Robo Z as well. Oh, that was so close. They didn't dive tier fours. They didn't dive fountain. They had to dive past the tier twos into the fountain to get the kill. Uh, amazing, dude! The Omni Slash just straight up killed Tavo, and Hoodwin came in. How much damage did you do? Uh, I just showed my recap, but I saw the boomerang come out with the sharpshooter. She shredded them all, like Pamplona again with this. I think you buy his, you, you just ban his Hoodwin from now on. You don't leave it in the pool. Oh, he's got Nemesis Curse. No wonder. No, like, that he too. Hit way, I was like, he hit way too hard in that previous fight. I was like, ah, oh, Nemesis Curse makes sense. Yeah, spicy. Very. And at this point, you can see that it's only... Medusa's the only core for Universitario. Tava yeah, well. swap. I can play on the Brewmaster here. He's got no split. They got no follow-up on it. And here comes Faker. Nice timing with the Soulbind. Double toss play. Tavo already gone. Replaced with an illusion. Scythe is dead. Robo C is trying to turn things around, but this is not looking good at all. They don't have their Medusa until now. Baker is stunned in front of the G3 tower. He gets his BKB off in time, so he's no longer interrupted by the Pango. Big charge onto the Brewmaster. Something. Adrian, he'll go down. Okay. But it is two buybacks. And if they can get the hell out of there, it's been all worth it. Robo Z still chasing. They see 555. Five, five. I'm blowing up with the teleport out. Robo Z can't get to him with a charge from Destroyer. They'll catch the Grimstroke at least. That's but fine. they did not get the big core. Faker, who's now showing in for round number two. He has to die oh. back off with Destroyer. But Shroud is there. Sight's there with the Earth Splitter. Robo Z's there too. Faker, was it worth oh. it? Was it worth nope. it? Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Here comes the Medusa, Medusa illusion, illusion into play. Robos, he has to be careful of it. He's down. Ooh. Five, five, five. He's more interested about the Elder Titan at this point instead of hitting the Medusa. And uh, it, meanwhile, Dodd's doing roar. Roshan on his own. <laughs> I just oh, love what how a game. The whole, 
By the way, he was actually top lane, going for Roar, and thinking about Roar, and he's like, wait, oh, it's not here, I'm gonna go bottom. And that is gonna be able to get it for himself here. Scotty going to be the pickup. Eh, I prefer the view as well, but it's fine, it's a solid item for sure. Adrian. And uh, Chris finished on Hoodwink. She is the same level as. Well, she's quite close to the enemy, to the course. Radiance middle mm. tower is under attack. Uh, Kanda on Tiny, so he hits hard along with the BKB yeah. on the other side. Yeah, he's finished the BKB now. Like, had that 9 second BKB charge used there on the high ground. He, he's had the Kanda for like 10 minutes now. Really, yeah. really big item for him. It has been uh, without burst damage to adds. On the other side, it's like ET's only got a Glimmer Cape. That's not much. Uh, Spirit Breaker, he's going to go for that Octarine Core. There's no point to going Ag and Scepter anymore. Before, yeah. the real choice was do I want Ags for a faster charge or Octarine for a faster everything, but not as good for the charge. Now it's like I just get Octarine every time with the shard, also, of course. Also, what I'm a bit curious about here is the thought mm -hmm. process. Like Medusa's not going for Butterfly, knowing the Jug's going to build an MKB anyway. That would mean Hoodwing also would need to buy a MKB yes. because they both need to get their mana burns to connect on the Deuces. So why is Deuce not even giving it a shot of building a butterfly? Instead, well, I understand the lack of damage, so Daedalus is a good option here. But you'd also live longer if you picked up that butterfly for at least the next few fights. Right, it's like both defense. And now Dodd getting... is actually lining up the butterfly. Uh, I think he should, uh, because he, more likely to see MKB coming out from the rain than the Dire, right? Uh, it's going to be... okay. Solid shards, you know? Grimstar doesn't have his, because he rushes Agam, so I would prefer that Grimstar got the shard instead, but it's fine. It's good no matter what. Jug uh, hacking oh, away, Faker coming in out of nowhere, they're gonna toss the Medusa. The swap uh, comes through, swap. but it's not gonna be enough, and Medusa's gone! Just like that, you're gonna have to buy back on Shroud if there's something you still want to do in terms of your base defense. Oh dear. I don't know if he misclicked because, you know, it's hard when someone's being tossed in the air, but you could have always done the portrait swap. Uh, but Tapo swapping the tiny, not good at all for them. Not at all. Spirit Breaker sitting at the back line hoping to get a charge on the Grimstroke, but they're fighting under the tier 4 tower. Scythe is about to fall. Medusa coming in with a buyback now. And Destroyer is fighting 555. He's charging in from the back. They're trying to interrupt the Juggernaut. Try and get the Aegis out of the way. It is going to work out. Well but you're going to have to do the same trick again. Medusa is thrown into the air with a Cyclone. Earth Splitter is coming through. Dot gets hit by it. Gets hit by the Sleep. Doesn't get the Omni Slash off. And he gets one shot. He gets taken down from 40% to zero with Scythe hitting for 350 damage and a crit from the Medusa simultaneously. And you know what? The biggest thing in that play was the stomp. He was halfway to casting Omni Slash. He got slept in between. It broke his, his channel and then he got stunned and killed after. Yeah, but unfortunately, they still lose Robo Z at the end. 555 has been playing pretty amazingly this entire match with this uh, Grim Stroke. So he gets himself a kill on the way out. Very nicely done for him. Yeah. If he got Universe? that only slash off, that would have been game over. So at least oh, yeah. they get to keep the game running for a bit longer, but it is an, in a very perilous situation now for Universitario. Lava are looking at a 2-0 at this current pace. There's a Wisdom Rune that's going to be stolen by Destroyer. Solid. And he's already died back before, so he shouldn't be on a cooldown now. Uh, yeah, but no, actually, so I got three minutes left on cooldown. Yeah, but I think he died in between, so he's already mm. suffered his. Uh, oh yeah, yeah the, the the long one. Yeah, the long death. Bomb lane, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough chase. Tavo's here waiting though. Body blocking. You're waiting him for even. the charge. Yeah, he's got, I think he's. Yeah, he's gonna get off. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. <laughs> How do you hit this brew? Well, the the brewlings you can. They don't have any evasion on them right now. There goes oh. Destroyer. Faker just sniped them. And Roosevelt's going to end fairly soon. -ish. Yeah, he's keeping him busy. Everybody's coming here. Faker's right nearby. Tavo's about to fall. He's about to lose his first life and about to lose the second right after. Bye, Shroud's Shroud. already lost all of his mana. Juggernaut Ooh. only used a Swift Slash for this one. Robo Z rolling in. Faker pops his PKB. He's going to be okay, but the older Titan's going to get taken down. And the Omni Slash continues. It's, it's not a break. Whoa. 
close call, but is he still out of the fray? There's the Inkswell chase with the Blade Fury, and he's trying to get the Robo Z. Almost getting killed by the Conda tree toss, but no. He uh, still... did everything to try and break it, but he kept on slashing him. Yeah, and well, it's a nice escape coming out here from the Pangolier in the end. You're still three people down, second set of barracks going. You don't have your earth, earth, uh, your support for like a whole mid. Oh, Shroud. Oh, no, Shroud. Feel durable that, that's the dieback. That's the dieback. That's it. That's, that's it. game. I love what they were able to do. This fast Aghanim rush has done work for Lava Esports. They went, they didn't go for defuse like except on the Hoodwing, but that's enough, and they just have enough damage on everyone else. Yeah. They had such a t such a timing, like 21 minutes. You've got d double defusals. You have an Ags coming up. You've got Conda on Tiny. It's like such a power spike. Like, what can you do against that? Well, not a whole no. lot. No, it didn't seem like it at all. As they are, yep, they just wow. They didn't even call GG by the way. They just let, this game, this series, like today, feels like some of the teams are like, yeah, we're gonna play till the very last second. We're not gonna give you <laughs> it's you know any time off. If we're gonna lose, you're gonna feel you know waste your time. But a lot of esports come in 2-0. I thought this was going in for Universitario esports favor. To be fair, they are playing with a stand-in. It's not Leo style. Leo style going yep. in for Robo Z. It chemistry changes, everything like that. So uh, I, I do favor them quite a bit. And like next time. Yeah, it was a pretty big spike there for the uh, Tiny in the mid lane. I think it was only like 500 gold ahead of the Pangolier in this case. Yep. So RoboZ, he tried his, his absolute best. Of course, it's not a Leo style level performance, but mm. I, I don't think it still would have changed too much because of how well the side lanes were going for Lava Esports. Maybe if they had a different hero, Leo playing it, re relieve some of the pressure from the side lanes, that could have been something that would have maybe changed the story of the game. But uh, th there we go. We you know it's a 2-0 for Lava Esports and uh, Universitario. Well, they were 1-9 and nine last season. They don't want to repeat that debacle again. And uh, by the way, the Hoodwink again, 20,000 damage. The uh, You know, like... Jug did 50, sorry, 17,000. Adrian did 15 on the Brewmaster. The only one who compares is, of course, uh, the Tiny who did 33. But your supports, if you're love, you're like, we're out damaging the course. And guess what? The Grimstone did even more damage than right. the Hoodwink. Well, I mean, technically, Jug did more damage because he was doing mana damage. And it doesn't really count into the post-game stat because he was burning mana instead of actually doing damage to the Medusa. Because uh, if you look at the breakdowns, it's like, did he really only do 9,000 damage with Omni Slash? I'm pretty sure he did much more th than that. But I, but still, uh, th I think we both agree on one thing. This Hoodwing's yeah. going to be bad. It they're, is. they're not going to get the, it. The <laughs> two times in a row where you're crushing it? No, no, no. And I really like what 555 did. He's like, "Lo, I have gold. Let me save a little bit more. I have more gold. I'm close to the Ags. Let me get it. No... I love it. I think that was one of the, the game-winning decisions by him. Uh, but ladies and gents, uh, we got one more series to come. But as mentioned before, it's time for a technical mm. break because we need to do some resetting. We're going to restart the stream in a few minutes. Uh, and then we're going to be heading over to Pacific Esports versus Infinity. Uh, this game is slightly delayed because of the tech mm. check. So uh, as soon as we finish from the break, we'll be back with Pacific versus Infinity. Uh, good night, Tumble. Hope you guys, hope you sleep well. We're going to be bringing in Bowie Thank as you. well after the break as our caster pair. So uh, without further ado, we'll see you guys in, well, hopefully very soon. See ya. What expect and Eva Alfi present betting on all esports events on the website and in the One Expert app. One Expert, play with Eva. What if Kunka knew that he could not only play Dota but also place bets? Bet the best play home. <laughs> One X Bet Bookmaker Company. Chances of breaking items in a tournament match are non existent. <laughs> Thank you.
chances of winning at 1x bet are always real. Join with me at your service. Stealing Iagus from Roshan is very difficult. Winning at 1x bet is super easy.